Although bed bunks have their risks, it's possible to stop them from emerging and prevent accidents by taking simple safety precautions. This means setting rules to avoid misuse of the bed and implementing practical measures and adopting habits to make the bunk bed safe. Set up some rules that the children should follow when using the bunk beds. These should include no bouncing around on either bunk, particularly the top one. No climbing on the bed. The bed isn't a climbing frame. No playing on the top bunk. No more than one person allowed on the top bunk at any time. Go back over the rules with the children regularly, highlighting that they're for their safety. Do this, too, when they have friends sleeping over. Don't let your children hang clothes or anything else on the bunk bed. This is especially the case with belts or sports equipment, such as skipping ropes. A bunk bed user places themselves at the risk of strangulation if they do so. It is best to take a look around the room and detect anything that could pose a danger. Blinds, especially the cords, windows, ceiling fans, lights and heaters are potential hazards. Keep the bed away from these features to minimize the danger. When positioning the bed, don't rely on the wall to serve as a guard rail. A child can still become wedged between the bed and the wall, which, unfortunately, can have devastating consequences. The bunk bed should have guard rails on all sides. Bunk beds will come with ladders or steps, encourage your children to use them and never stand on a chair or other items to get onto the top bunk. The child must be able to go up and down the ladders comfortably and confidently. This is crucial at night because they may wake up to go to the toilet, it'll be dark, and they'll be sleepy, so they must be able to climb up and down the ladder easily. You can make things even safer by placing a night light in the room so that they can see where they're going. If not a night light, then ensure there is a light switch within easy reach when you position the bed. If the room has a hard floor consider adding a carpet or rug under the bunk bed, this will help reduce the risk of head injuries if anyone does have a fall. Children are notorious for leaving their toys lying around, it's best not to have them play around the bunk bed area at all if you can avoid it. If they are playing in their room, then you should always get them into the habit of putting their toys away, either in a toy box or other storage facility before going to bed.